You are welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations today in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell us your name, your age, and your address. My name is Mrs. Justina Omenoko. I am 30 years old from Anambra State. I'm here with a problem of HIV positive 1. From the symptoms I've been having, constant headache, internal heat, general weakness in the body, waist pain, so with all this uh, and the uh, typhoid fever as well, I had to go to the hospital for a, a test and there it was identified positive. Now tell us the name of the hospital that tested you to have this problem of HIV stroke 8 positive 1 in your life. The hospital is Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Lagos. The cause of it is uh, the scene of fornication and adultery. And for over five years, I've been having the symptoms uh, in my body. My promise after my healing is that I will go and see no more. Thank you very much. Now that you're in the synagogue church of all nations, can you tell us your belief to God Almighty? My belief is that with God, all things are possible. Here is Prophet T.B. Joshua ministering prayer in the power of the Holy Spirit to those at the synagogue church of all nations prayer line with the deadly and incurable disease of HIV AIDS. As he prays for the people, you can see the instant reaction of this lady, Mrs. Justina Omanuku, who spins uncontrollably around as the power of God is uprooting all traces of the deadly virus in her system. As Prophet T.B. Joshua continues to pray for others, Mrs. Justina is still clearly under the healing influence of the Holy Spirit. As he moves back down the line, Prophet T.B. Joshua prays for her again, the Lord perfecting the work of healing in her spirit, soul, and body. You are free. Shall we put our hands together beautifully for the King of Glory? Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! My name is Mrs. Justina Omenoko. I am 30 years old from Anambra State. The problem that brought me to Synagogue Church of All Nations is the problem of HIV positive 1. The symptoms I've been having before coming here are constant headache, general weakness of the body, internal heat, waist pain, Dryness of the mouth, loss of memory, loss of weight, itchings, constant cutter, but after the prayer of the man of God, as if a cold breeze quenched the whole thing. And now I feel peace within me. Those pains, they are no more. Before I cannot bend down easily to sweep even the house, but now I can bend my waist because the pains I used to have were so much. So I've been passing through many things to the extent that I even felt that that would be the end of my life. The, the heatness in my body was so hot that my blood, when you see it, you know that it is being cooked in the fire. I'm really passing through hell. But thank God for the man of God in this place. And I thank God for make, giving me the opportunity to be alive, to come up to Lagos and to get such a place where the power of God is in the existence. Today I'm promising God that I will go and sin no more and live the rest of my life for his service. Glory be to God. Mrs. Omanuku excitedly exercises herself, jumping up and down to confirm that the Lord has indeed touched her case. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I am Justina Ngozi Chukuka, formerly Omenoko. 
The problem that brought me to the Synagogue Church of All Nations was the problem of HIV AIDS positive one. I hail from Anambra State. Then I was 30 years old. When I had this problem, I was suffering from so many symptoms, ranging from constant headache, waist pain, hotness of the body, internal heat, dryness of the mouth, loss of appetite, loss of weight, in fact, even loss of memory. There was pains all over, constant malaria and typhoid fever, even hepatitis, I suffered a lot. Until the very day when I came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Then I was privileged to be arranged at the healing line, just like those of us here today. And then the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, came and then ministered prayer unto us and declared us free in the name of Jesus Christ. And instantly, instantly, the moment he came towards me, it's like a vibration, but I couldn't control what I was experiencing. I had to turn around and then finally, as if cold, cold breeze just came upon me and that was how the whole symptoms I was passing through, they all vanished immediately, instantly. And since then, I've been free and I'm free indeed. But for the benefit of the viewers and those of us who are just here to receive theirs, to you know, give them the hope that really this thing is true, we have, I have to go back to the same hospital that tested me positive and I was tested negative to HIV positive one and two. Yes, this medical report here is the one that tested me to be positive. Positive to HIV one. And then when you look at the other medical report here, you see that it has been tested negative to HIV one and two. I was prayed for on the 7th of May, the year 2000 precisely, and that is about 13 years ago. And since then, till date, nothing like HIV symptoms or whatever, because of the decision I made, it's, it's not just all about coming to receive the healing, actually. You know, I took the decision to see no man to live for God, and I maintained it. And to today, nothing like such problem in my life. You can see, there, there's a picture here. Then I was rejected and abandoned, called names, dry bone, you know, somebody who cannot yield any fruit anymore. But God, in his infinite mercy, turned my story around. And you can see the picture here. After the healing, by the grace of God, I got married, and these are my kids. There's a first, there's a second, and there's a third. These are my, there's my twin sister and her own kids there. Glory be to God. And right now, we just want you uh, to move around with your medical report. Nous voulons entendre le témoignage de cette femme qui souffrait du problème du VIH positif 1 et 2. Elle est venue il y a plusieurs années ici à la synagogue de toutes les nations avec ce problème. Elle avait beaucoup de symptômes, elle ne pouvait pratiquement rien faire par elle-même, les maux de tête, la chaleur interne, etc. C'est partout, nous avons trouvé des solutions car nous savons tous qu'il n'y a pas de solution euh, au VIH positif. Seul Dieu peut justement libérer quelqu'un de cette maladie qui est déclarée incurable par les hommes. Nous savons que rien n'était possible à Dieu. Nous la voyons aujourd'hui, remerciant le Seigneur Jésus Christ, parce que cette maladie est hors de son système car elle a la preuve, elle a son rapport médical d'avant montrant qu'elle était positive 1 et 2 et maintenant elle a son rapport médical montrant qu'elle est complètement négative. Nous avons vu que même après sa guérison, le Seigneur l'a bénie. Elle a pu se marier et avoir des enfants comme nous avons vu sur la photo. Elle rend toute la gloire à Dieu. Gloire à Dieu, continuons avec plus de témoignages. En ce cas, cette femme qui vient avec le problème de VIH, SIDA, c'est un problème qui, pour le monde, est impossible, mais pour notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, rien n'est impossible, aucune enfermité n'est impossible pour sanar. Cette femme est venue il y a un temps à la Synagogue de l'Église des Nations, quand elle avait seulement 20 ans d'âge. Y oro, el profeta Tipi Josh oró por ella en el poder del Espíritu Santo, haciéndola libre de este problema de VIH. Sí, inclusive podemos ver los certificados negativos y positivos, el antes y el después. Y también nos enseñó la fotografía junto con sus hijos, diciendo que ya está totalmente. Um, for those who are watching me right now and for the viewers right there who are viewing this telecast, I want you to understand that it's not all up to God. You have a role to play. This place is a decision ground. 
I never forget the question somebody asked me the very day I sat on the same seat you are sitting today. And that question is, what shall separate you from the love of God, which you are about to receive from Christ Jesus today? Within me, I could not open my mouth to answer that question, but something was moving within me. And all I was doing was just shaking my head. Before I knew it, I heard, no, nothing, nothing. So this is a decision ground. Because after the healing, there must be trials to really prove if this thing is true or not. So how do you go about it? So what I always tell people is that you coming for this healing, you have taken a good step. That's a step in the good direction. But then it's not enough. After the healing, you still have a role to play. That is why we always tell us that the healing we are about to receive is just a means to an end. It's not the end itself. So if you are seated here, just to receive the healing, maybe for selfish or classic or material reason. Please change that motive now. Your motive should be for the salvation of your soul. So what you should be thinking about, rather than thinking about, ah, am I going to be healed like this lady that is talking today? Rather thinking that I want your thought, your meditation to be, God, give me the grace to maintain what I'm about to receive today. And even our Lord Jesus Christ himself, he knew it very well, that without maintenance, there is need for reoccurrence. That was why after he healed a man who had suffered for 38 good years, later he, he, he found him. Having perceived the life he will live if he's not warned about it, he said, my friend, see you are made whole. Go and sin no more or else something worse may happen to you. So what am I trying to say, viewers, and those of you that are listening to me, it is not just to receive the healing. Because it is sin that is the cause of this problem we are facing. And if you don't know the actual cause of this problem, there's no way you'll be able to maintain it. So have known that sin is the cause of this problem. And sin makes us homeless. Because the, our father and the Lord, Prophet T.B. Joshua, taught us that homelessness is man's condition without God. We have been homeless for long. And today, Christ Jesus is about to bring you back home. How do you maintain that relationship? How do you maintain that freedom and liberty as a child of God? That is the most important thing. Not just to receive the healing but to maintain your relationship with Christ Jesus, who is about to redeem you. His, the, the song says, he paid the price he did not owe. You and I that owns the pride could not pay for it, but Christ did it. Today, Isaiah 53 verse 5 is going to come to fulfillment in your life. So my advice to you is this. Man, hold tight to what you're about to receive, and nothing will make you to regret ever doing that. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Like Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 and 14 says, hear the conclusion of the whole matter. He said, let us listen to the conclusion. Do what? Fear God. Forsake your evil ways. For this is the whole duty of what? Of man. So your duty now is to make the word of God the standard for your life. You have lived your life before. You have wasted your life. You have issued certificate of death. That is what you have there. But Christ Jesus is about to rewrite that certificate to give you a certificate of life. So your duty is to make sure you hold tight to it. Embrace Christ the more. Don't mind what people will tell you there. As chapter 5 verse 29 says, we ought to obey God rather than man. Forget what your people will tell you. Obey the word of God and it shall be well with you in Jesus name. Amen. We thank God for your life today and uh, you have said it all. We just want to uh, uh, encourage you more that you have been saved, you have been delivered, and you have been blessed by Christ's word. Continue to be ruled by the word of God. Continue to make his word the standard for your life. So that this blessing you have received will remain permanent and permanent forever in Jesus' name. Amen.